Good evening, everybody. It's Saturday, September 22nd, 2012. We are here at Smith Vocational High School, Tudrin Field, as the Northampton Youth Football more. League Blue we Devils, the senior please. division. One take on the Springfield Wildcats. I'm Andrew Shelfo, and I'm here with Rob Osberg. How are you, Rob? I'm fantastic. What a great day for football. So far, the Blue Devils are 2-0. The Pee Wees won. The Juniors won. Thank you, Mr. Burnish. Nice job. Let's see if the seniors can keep it a winning streak. Yeah, and then it's going to be important after a real tough loss last week against a uh, well-coached team from uh, Wilbraham. It was an evenly matched game, and unfortunately, we came out on the wrong end of this. And it looks like we're going to have a work cut out for us today. This looks like a very large, very athletic team. It's really going to test the Blue Devils. I know they had a hard week of practice this week. Coach Levin's very disappointed with the performance last week and put some new wrinkles in the playbook. I think we're going to see a lot of plays out of the shotgun offense this week. I think, I think the Blue Devils are hungry after that hard loss last week and they and they did decide not to do a kickoff oh wow look at that a little There's action a little there by elijah davis the first play elijah davis Ooh. gets through into the secondary the it's a gain of 12. The Take it down. they also fooled the, the wildcats play and, and, and they, and they fooled up and they fooled me look at there's some action Jackson on that play. What a, what an exciting way to play. That is definitely a new wrinkle. Had the Wildcats been scouting these Devils, they would have seen nothing like that in the office. In fact, we've been covering this team for five years and have never seen a, an opening play with as much movement and success as that one. Nice uh, way for the Blue Bells to open up. Now, viewers may have noticed that this game didn't start with a kickoff, and that's because the Wildcats... I don't think have special teams players. First down Northampton now. Osper takes the snap, looking to throw deep. Throws oh, he's the got ball him. From there. He's, he's got, got a man open. open. That's Brayden. That's Higgins. That's Brayden on the reception. Was that Brayden on the reception? My mistake. Number 10 Gets down to the 18-yard line. Reception about 25-yard reception on that. Number Ryan Brayden. Ryan Brayden. You know what? Uh, Ian Osper did a nice job waiting for uh, Brayden to get open. And although he had some pressure, he stayed in the pocket and threw it deep. Brayden made the nice catch, advanced it forward, first and ten. 10 Blue Devils from the 13 yard line or 17 yard line of the Wildcats. First two played by the Blue Devils, some very aggressive offensive plays. Looks like they are trying trying hard to erase the memories of last week. Osberg in the shotgun again, takes the snap. There's a handoff to Davis. No, he's got all sorts of room. He's going to score one untouched. Guy to he's he's going to get to the hard. corner untouched. That's a touchdown for Northampton. Number 21, Elijah Davis. Impressive first drive. Three impressive Once plays right there speed, by the Blue Elijah Devils. Is gone. And three different plays by the Blue Devils. Very little, exciting. Little misdirection on the first play, pass play on the second one, and then just run to the left. How fun is that? Little razzle dazzle, little, little, little touchdown Blue Devils. Now they're going to line up for the two point conversion. It's currently 6 0. Osberg still in the shotgun. Calls the signals, takes the snap. There's a handoff. The channel. channel. Yeah, looking for some room on the right. The run. Cuts it to the outside. Nice he makes move. it in untouched. That was a nice and cut at the end. It sure was. You know what? I that thought he was going to cut that up, but he saw the uh, daylight on the outside, and he just uh, scooted into the end zone. Nice tried run. to dive there, but instead he wisely took it to the outside and went in untouched. So after four plays on offense for the Blue Devils, they're up 8 nothing over the Springfield Wildcats. Everybody here, everybody. And we're going to see a, going to see a Hamp defense that was definitely tested by a very impressive offense from Wilbraham last week. Wilbraham also runs out of a shotgun, runs multiple motions. It really confused Hamp. Hamp's got something to prove this week. I'm not surprised if we'll see. Uh, they got a little lonely end working out there, Rob. Everybody in the huddle except for the receiver line up there to the left. Oh, now he remembers he's got to go to the huddle. There we go. I thought they were going to try some trickery. But they didn't tell him what the play is. Now he knows. He's on there. So the Wildcats started their own 35. And they, and they started a shotgun. No, I think the quarterback's up oh, on the there center. They got a little wishbone going behind them. Is that what that is? Yes, you're right. 10 Springfield ball down to 35. Now they bring in the last guy. All right, now they're ready. Quarterback takes a snap. Hand off to the deep man in the wishbone. Get some room on the right. Number two, brought down by, by number, number 68. 68. Greg Shevitz. I think that's Gregor Shevitz. Is that Shevitz. Grego. Oh, Fredo, I stand corrected. Oh, it is Andrew. They got two numbers on the program. Greg Shevitz on that play. Hey, num you know, number 34, Kesson, did a nice job turning that off. He's uh, he's out there on the corner. When the, when the ball goes to the left side, 
You run into Keston, and you know there ain't no messing with Keston. No messing with Keston out there, man. He did a real nice job turning that runner up. Greg Ashevitz pursued from his line position. Brings up second and about four. Now Springfield, second. Second, let's call it three yards to go. They have two receivers lined up here on the short side of the field. Two backs behind the quarterback up under center. Takes the snap. Fakes the handoff. He's going to keep it himself. Looking for some room on the left-hand side. Finally pushed out of bounds after Number getting the, the first down. That's a gain of about four. You know, i got to tell you, I thought the Wildcats did a real nice job in their Burnish. offensive line Jimmy play and their blocking. They stuck with their blocks a long time. That created an opportunity for the quarterback to march ahead for the uh, first down. Nice job on the part of those uh, determined blockers for the Wildcats. And I think the Blue Devils were fooled a little bit. I don't think they expected the quarterback to keep the ball. And he was able to roll out to his right and gain the first down. So now they're on the 46-yard line. They have a first and 10. The outside linebacker, number 33, Levins, is uh, really encouraging the defense to step up on this play. Think, let's get, let's let's change the momentum. He he and Elijah Davis on either side of those linebackers are formidable. Snap. There's a handoff. The quarter running back drops it and then falls down on the ball. Loose He's ball, finally landed on by a big number, 79, Jose Reyes. And I was focused at number 33, Levens, on that play, and he got caught inside. That play had that fumble not happen. Levens got caught inside, and that would have put a lot of pressure on number number 14, Jared Fowler, out there, and number 34, Kesson. It's going to be real important for Levens to hold his line in this play. This is a fast team, and you get in, you get caught in uh, inside. And I think uh, Coach Levens noticed that as well, and reminded his son of what his responsibilities are out there on the end. Brings up a second and 16 for the Wildcats. Second and about 14 now for Springfield. They're getting themselves arranged here on the line. A little bit of confusion by number 72. Finds the right spot. Quarterback in the shotgun. And there's a, a Wildcat play. The Direct snap to the running back. Uh -oh. He's touched to the backfield, but finally no brought down after a gain of four. Back to that was number, number 15 in on that tackle. That's Tim Burnish. Yeah, number 23, Griffin Shaw. Number 10, uh, Hank Higgins also did a nice job on that play, stringing that out. Um, slowed, the, slowed the play down, allowed the Blue Devil defenders, the rest of the Blue Devil defenders to get in there on that play. Ethan coach Gorman in on that tackle as well. Yeah, he and he's fast coming out of that line position. Head coach Frank Levins and assistant Scott Channel and Mike Gregashevitz has to be happy with the effort he's getting from, uh, that they are getting from their from their team so far in this game. And what we're seeing so far is that the Wildcats have a lot of speed on their side of the ball. They sure do. Sure heard our master chef let you know. Third and 12. Quarterback takes the snap. There's a handoff. And he slips down the in the backfield. Gregor Shevitz. Brought down Gregor Shevitz with the, the tackle. We'll get credit for the tackle, but really his knee came down as he tried to bring, turn up field and the, up his feet slipped off underneath him. You know, the other guy who did a real nice job on that play was Jose Reyes. Uh, Jose, big Jose was uh, penetrated the line and had, if Greg Grishevitz not made the play, that, that quarterback would have run smack into Reyes. That would have been that would have been quite a collision. So it's fourth down and 15 yards to go. The Wildcats, they didn't have special teams for a kickoff, so I don't know what they're going to do here. I'm wondering if they're going to punt. Uh, Doesn't look like it. So fourth and 16, and they're going to go for it. And Channel's extra deep Springfield back there at the safety up. position, just in case. Quarterback takes the snap. There's a pitch to the running back, looking for some room on the left-hand side. He is back up, backed up, yeah, brought down the after a loss Jared of on that, seven. If I'm not mistaken. He had Levins in on that tackle. Jared he had Levins. Gorman he had was in on that tackle. Gorman in on that tackle. Henry Higgins in on that tackle. Yeah, that, that was a play. You know, if it's fourth and sixteen, it looked for a second like it was an option play. Was that, I think that's what it was. Although he's a right hand, he looked like a right-handed thrower yeah, running to his, left. Go to his left. Not really quite know. sure. Yeah, maybe he's ambidextrous. I don't know. But uh, you know, throwing on the run's tough enough. Throwing against your body, throwing on your run is something very advanced skill. Not something you can reasonably expect from seventh and eighth graders. So hey, the, this, the other thing to notice uh, is that the so I'm doing a quick count if my math is correct. Springfield Wildcats only have about 15 players. Yeah. And that's a big part of the reason why we're not seeing kickoffs on, the, on this particular, in this particular game. Blue Devils take over on the Wildcat 35-yard line. Osberg in the shotgun takes a snap, looking for Davis. Oh, he has him open. Him. Nice pass. Oh, 21. oh, incomplete pass. Davis is going to be disappointed in that one. It hit him 
and he just dropped the ball. But that was a nice Put pass play, by Oscar. Hands on it and and Davis did a great job of running the route and getting time. open. Unfortunately, he just couldn't hold on to the ball. I don't know if he lost in his lights. Uh, Elijah is usually uh, very sure-handed, and nine times out of ten, he comes up with that play. And I think there's a and timeout. There is a timeout on the field. After the timeout, the Blue Devils face a second and ten on the Wildcats 35. Most of the game, quarterback Ian Osberg has been in the shotgun. It looks like that's going to continue here. That's a new wrinkle for this week for the Blue Devils. Second and ten. Osberg calls the signals. Takes the snap. It's a handoff, a double reverse. There's Davis looking for his room on the left. Cuts it up the middle. Cuts inside. Got some room. Breaks the one tackle. tackler. And a makes the out of second tackler Number pay for it as he's finally brought out of, down, out of bounds at the 21 yard line. There is a, there's a clinic on how to finish a run. Davis saw that tackler. He lowered his shoulder. He accelerated in the tackler. The last thing in the world that that cornerback or that safety wants to see again is number 21 coming after him. That is a great run. Tremendous athleticism and finish it with a punch. Well, you know, you know. He knows he's going to get tackled, so why not make well, the absolutely. quarterback pay for it a little bit? Absolutely. That's the kind of football mentality that just is exciting to watch. That was a first down. Osberg takes the snap. There's the handoff to Levins. Looking for some room on the right-hand side. Two in blockers run, in front of him. One of them, Davis. And he actually runs up the back of Davis. Down. Gets tripped up after a gain of about eight yeah, yards. About eight you know, I saw a block in the back at the end of that play on the part of the Blue Devils. I did not get called. I think the Blue Devils are fortunate. I wouldn't have been surprised if there was a flag there. That's going to bring up second and two and also give us an opportunity to thank our uh, our premium sponsors, the Northampton Police Relief Association, the Calvin Coolidge Nursing Home, and Angelic Builders. They're the most generous. We really appreciate all that they do to make, help bring this program to this second community. Second and three, Osberg takes the snap, hands off to Davis, looking oh, left. Oh, man. Got some Worker room there. Elijah Davis again, brought down. Wrapped up after a gain a of first down. 10 yards. That's a first down. And I was just, it was just Campbell pointed out to me that that last situation. run by Jared Levins of eight yards was again, gonna his first run of the score. season. You know, and he did a nice Elijah job, Davis too. Had he not uh, lost his footing, they might have gone for a touchdown. This is another impressive drive by the Blue Devils. Last, last drive only lasted three plays. This we're, one's longer than that. I think we're on our, what, fourth play or fifth play right now? And, and it could have been over game. after one. Lead us Springfield Wildcats 8-0. Osberg takes the snap, hand off the channel, looking for some room, following who's that uh, big Jose Reyes up the middle. There's a gain. Uh, He's brought uh, down the middle for no see. gain. No gain. You know, Matty's a, Matty's a very athletic kid, and he's got good speed. He's just always a fraction, you know, he's always looking for that perfect hole. Sometimes you got to create that hole, just accelerate through and make that hole. You know, he looked yeah. left, he looked right, and that gave the defense just enough time to close in. And But he did go forward and, and, and created some positive yards there. Forward did well following his big offensive lineman. Osberg takes the snap. There's offsides. It's going to be called. There's a handoff to Channel. Looking for some room he's on the right. The play. He's got to the some corner. room to the corner. He's dragged tackle. down. He's taken down. No just gain. Shy. But uh -oh. this play is offsides by the Wildcats. That was a free play. Yeah, the, the quarterback was anticipating the snap count. And he didn't do a good job. So that'll be half the distance to the goal. Little ACD to escort this Blue Devils team into the end zone for their second score. It's a second and a repeat a second down. They have about six yards to go. First down. First down. It's not first down. It's got to be that second down and second about second down. Uh, second and about three. Second and three, and they're on right. the three-yard line. Referee whiff whistles to start the clock. Osberg in the shotgun again, takes the snap, hand off to Davis, looking for the room on the left hand side, Elijah cuts Davis it up the middle in for the score. That was a huge hole opened up by the left side of that offensive line. Tell you what, very impressive offensive performance so far by the Blue Devils. Well, They're firing at all, all again, cylinders at the moment. Makes it 14 nothing right now, and the Blue Devils will line up for the two point conversion try. It was that uh, it was that ACDC surge. So far, the Wildcats just don't have any answers for the Blue Devils offense. Camp lines up for the two. Osberg up under center for the two-point conversion try. 
Takes the snap. He's going to keep it himself. Rolling to the right, looking for the pass. Oh, no. Who's that wide open uh, in the end zone? Braden. And the reception's good. Northampton. Nice throw. Nice catch. Nice play. nice play. Number 40 on the catch. Ryan Braden. So Ham doubles up. 16-0. Springfield Makes it 16 to nothing. Blue Devils over the Wildcats. Well, Rob, I don't know how, if you're the Wildcats, you can slow down what you've just seen in a Blue Devils offense. All I do is win, 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 no matter you're undermanned, undersized. I don't know if they're undersized. They're definitely, uh, it's definitely uh, differential in terms of execution out here. And that's the end of the first quarter. Starting the second quarter here at Tudrin Field, Smith Vocational High School. Northampton Blue Devils up 16 to nothing on the Springfield Wildcats. Now the Springfield Wildcats offense has been, I'm gonna say intriguing. They have some possibilities out there. Let's see if they can throw a little razzle with their dazzle. First and 10 Wildcats. Quarterback is up under center, eye formation behind him. Two receivers to the right, calling one of them in motion. Takes the snap. There's a handoff to the deep back. Looking for some room. Swarming Blue Devil defense. That's 75 for Regis. So that is, that was that Reyes? That was Tyreek Sanders, number 75. Was this, that Tyreek? Helped out by Andy, uh, no, no, that was number 70. That was helped out by Ethan Gorman. Hey, this gives us a chance to thank our gold major sponsors, Pioneer Landscapes Incorporated, MRW Connected LLC, Liquors 44, Attorney Mark A. Tanner, Bacon Wilson, Osberg and Associates, Florence Savings Bank, and the World War II Club. The Deuce. So second and eight for the Wildcats. And Slowdell, who plays like that, just just allow the Blue Devils to second eight Springfield. feast on it. Quarterback fades back to pass. Davis almost got to him. Gets the pass off. It's completed. That was Kesson. Kesson in there to bring him down, and that's about a one-yard game. Kesson's got to feel good about that tackle. That was a solo tackle. He uh, he was out there on his own. He made the hit. Nice play by Kesson. Hey, blue sponsors include Collective Copies, Newman's Construction, Goggins Real Estate, Joe's Pizza, Whalen Insurance, Dove Business Associates, Valley Home Improvement, Weber and Grinnell Insurance, the Blue Bottle Diner, and Strides. These are names you see at Ballet. You see these names in the community all the time. They sponsor lots of nonprofit organizations. Big thank you to all our corporate and business sponsors. Third and seven for the Wildcats. Quarterback takes the snap. Fakes the handoff, keeps it himself, rolls to the right-hand side. The burnish. And, he's and he is brought 15 down. Burnish. burnish in on the tackle. And also number, that was Levin's in on the tackle. And also number, number 59 72. On. Bo Garbarini in on the tackle. Yeah, nice play. And who's, who's number 59 Springfield out there? I don't have my uh, roster in front of me. Who's number 59? Nick Nathan. Sandoval. Nice play by Sandoval. It does a nice job on both sides of the line. Hey, there's also a number of family sponsors. These are folks who just uh, want to help out the program. The Mandy Morrison family, the Mike Benedizic family, Ron Berenson family, Jimmy and Diana Zinal. MVPs amongst the volunteers, the Tudrons and the Burnishes. Thank you to all of our business sponsors. Thank you to all of our family sponsors. Thank you for all the volunteers led by League President Hank Girardin. They all do a wonderful job to make these Saturdays at Tudrin Field as much fun as they are. Fourth down for the Wildcats. About six yards to go. There's a snap. It's a high snap. The quarterback brings it down. Davis wraps him He's up. Taken fumble. Down the backfield by number Recovered by the Wildcats. Number 21, Elijah Davis on a tackle. That play had no That's chance. That, that boy down. loves to hit. Springfield, so. Davis sized. It was almost Camp as if Davis knew what the snap count the was. The North the Blue it was the, the, the 2012 Wildcats. Board of Directors for the Blue Devils football. Include President Hank Gerard, and he's supported by Vice President Ron Berenson, the treasurer Diana Zinal. She's also the queen of Northampton youth football merchants. Merchandise. She's helped by League Secretary Erica Lamana, the Registrar Taryn Johnson, and members Patrick Diggins, who always is there helping with the food booth, Brian Bezeski, and Manfred you Melcher. Thank Pat, you very much. Pat Diggins gets the quick change award because he went from wearing the white by the grill 
to wearing his coach's uniform. Elijah coach, Davis is loose again, breaks a couple more tackles. Alice Davis on the run up the left-hand side after a little reverse play. Gained about five or Gained six Gained about play. six yards on that play. There's Davis some razzle, there's up. some dazzle, there is some <laughs> smash mouth football. Well, you know what would work really well this play? Quarterback sneak right up the middle. That would take that would, that would get everybody take everybody by surprise. Delicious. They're, they they're they're digging deep into the playbook for some of these plays. And having a good time doing a great job on that uh, offensive line. We Second really gotta give uh, give a shout out to number seventy Gorman. I mean the number you know, doing a super job in that line. Osper takes the snap, fakes the run to his right, Levin hands the off to Levins, back who reverses back to the right and gets to the line of scrimmage. Well, that was my quarterback sneak. Run Unfortunately, he snuck for a while, and then he handed it off to Levins. It was like the double fake. They, you know, it was the quarterback sneak, try to fake people out, and then hand it off. Yeah, number 10, Henry Higgins, was in on that last play. Did made a really nice block. He's a determined runner. I'm looking forward to Higgins getting a few handoffs in today's game. He, uh, like Davis, loves to finish his runs. Coming out of the game was uh, Solly Barrons, and Solly's doing a great job on both sides of the ball. Real solid lineman, experienced player, brings brings a real good work ethic to this team. Third and five, Osberg is going to be up under center. Looks like for this play. Third down on Northampton. Two receivers. This looks to the like right. Levens to the left. To the left. Is. Osberg takes the snap, hand off to Davis, who hands it off to Channel, who breaks one tackle. Nine breaks the Got tackle. Got some room on, on the right, the right -hand side. trying to cut it up. It's a gain of about three yards there. It was a run of about 12 yards, but a gain of about two yards. It's going to bring up fourth down. Fourth down and three to go. Nice run by Channel there, breaking that tackle and making making something out of nothing there. Did a great job making that first guy miss. That's he did, sure. didn't he? So now we have to assume they're going to go for it here on fourth and three on the 25 yard on the Wildcats. You know, I'm looking for Levens on that throw to the left corner. I'm looking for a corner route from to Levens on this play. Yeah, he's got single coverage out there. This is going to Levens. Osprey here it is. Snap, looking to throw. And Throws there it the is. ball up in the air. He's got a man open. Oh, uh, incomplete. Incomplete. Levens is looking for a little interference, but it incomplete. wasn't a catchable ball. You know what? Osberg didn't have his feet underneath him on that throw, and unfortunately, he threw a duck instead of a spiral, and it uh, unfortunately came up about five or ten yards short. That was uh, not a strong throw there, unfortunately, and it results in um, the Wildcats Number taking over. The end of field. So that's Straight a turnover on downs by the Blue Devils. Wildcats will take over on their own 23-yard line. Down 16 to nothing. It's a little second guessing going on up here in the booth about that last play. But that's you know, all right. The Blue Devils will get the ball back. You know, I I, I actually like the call. I think the uh, the play got uh, t took a little long to develop and uh, was asking a lot of Osberg to throw the ball that far across the field. It's First an accurate thrower. Twenty-five. That's about a forty-yard throw. It's a breezy night out there. And, and 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 judging from the breeze, it was right into the wind, which might have contributed to the ball flight of uh, that particular play. Wildcat quarterback takes the snap, looking for someone to throw to. Finally throws the ball Pass up in the air. The for number over the middle. Is that Channel that jumped in front? That was Channel. Nice play by Channel there. That was a good play. Jumped the route and almost came up with the interception. Cornerback uh, Griffin Shaw did a nice job getting in there with uh, Channel to break that up. But uh, Channel did a nice job jumping that route. I think he had a better chance to make that catch than the uh, offensive player. Well, the receiver really turned into now. a defender and actually tackled Channel before he could catch the ball. Uh, I also have to give a shout out to the Wildcat offensive Just line. They did a good job of giving their quarterback enough him. time to fade back and Home throw that ball. Yeah, and it wasn't easy when you have big old Jose Reyes yeah. pounding in on you, that's for sure. He is he is all of a nose tackle right there, man. Second and Looks 10. like Jay Ratliff out there. Receiver goes in motion. Quarterback takes the snap. Looking to keep it himself. He's going around to his left. Nice Elijah move. Davis. Eludes Henry Higgins. He's and he's finally wrapped up by Andy Gregor. Like Loss of uh, four Shavitz. yards on that one. Not oh, Levens. 33 maybe. And not Griffin Shaw. Nice play. That was a solid play by the Blue Devils, even though those first two guys was weren't able to make the tackle. They were there pretty quickly. Yeah, and number that quarterback was on the run the whole time. That's right. Number three, Cyrus Carey reports into the game. He's uh, got that, that cornerback position. Brings up third and so we'll 16 third and for the Wildcats. And Blue Devils defense is stifling tonight. 
Amp's got a lot of depth on both offense and defense, and it's good to see them shuffling players in. Uh, you know, there's just no drop off. They're just they're just they're they're athletic and they're deep. They've got quality quality pl multiple players for every position. Quality players. Third and 16. Quarterback takes the snap. Looking for someone to hand off. Yeah, the Levins. Dragged down by Jared Levins. Jared Levins. He just kept going straight the sack as the quarterback was trying to zig and zag. That's a loss Hendricks, of about six. the stork. We, we had it figured out. I was wondering if you were going to remember we that. We did. Nickname, we we figured it out, but we figured it out last week. That old, uh, that all, the tall, Ted fast Hendricks. Teddy Hendricks, the stork from the Oakland A's. Raiders. I mean, the Oakland Raiders. I made that mistake last time, too. Silver and black. All right, so here's the situation. Fourth and what are you saying, 22? Fourth and four. We, we refer to that as fourth even, and forever. I don't even know if they have a punter. Undefeated for the season. So do you, what do you do? Two-minute warning here. Two-minute warning. Two-minute so. warning for the first half. I think they're going to go for it here. Especially that peewee freshman game. So they're on, the, they're on the they're on the 10-yard line. You know, given how this game is uh, has been progressing in our dominance, I wouldn't be surprised if in the second half we'll see a lot of shuffling of our, our personnel on both offense and defense. And this is a pass play, fourth and forever, and there's a whistle. Let's see what that's about. Timeout, timeout red. Time after the timeout to get themselves. Aligned on the field. Reoriented. Looks I think they like might have switched into a punt formation. We're going to try to punt. I, I think that's a much better decision. I do too. But now the punter is coming back up. Up. Oh, now there you go. Here's a punter. Good kick. Kick is away. There's a high kick. This Davis. Davis, Davis catches takes the it. Ball. Running to his left. Cuts it back up the middle. He's got, room got middle, some room still going with field. a guy on his, back. on his back. And he returns it Davis down to the 15 yard line of the Wildcats. That's a nice run by Davis. We've been saying that a lot tonight. He's having a monster yeah. game on both sides of the ball. That's something you said, Rob, about the depth of the Blue Devils team. It's certainly evident in this game because if you look at the Blue Devils bench, you see a lot of players on the sideline. Look at the uh, you know, bench, not just not, not just players. players. We're seeing players who, uh, who have experience, who have athleticism, are looking forward to an opportunity to contribute. There's just quality players up and down this lineup, and they're in an environment tonight where they're really going to get to show their depth and their experience. So we're inside two minutes here in the first half. The Blue Devils take over on the 15-yard line of the Wildcats. Osberg in the shotgun. Sends channel in motion, takes the snap. It's a, it's a low the snap. That was a fumble. Blue Devils fell on him. That's a loss of five yards on the play. Yeah, nice job by Burnish getting uh, getting that play. I couldn't tell from our angle whether or not that was a, you know, what what caused that fumble, whether or not the snap was a little off, whether it was poorly handled. It just that, it almost looked like it was supposed to be a direct snap to Burnish. Was that what it was Oscar supposed to be? Was pulling out. He yeah, something was something was funky something in that play. Something was a miss. So second down and fifteen. Yeah. Osper takes the snap. There's a handoff to Channel. Looking for some room. Nice right. cut. Cuts it back up the middle. The now hold. he's got some room. Brought down by 72. Good run. Field. That's a gain of about 14 yards there. They that bring it down to the three-yard line. You know, Channel did a real nice job on that play. He did pause for a second, but then he accelerated. He hit that hole. Nice job. That was a nice cut. And I really like the way he hit that hole on that play. Cut it back up the middle where the big hole was, and he almost brought it to the house. So there's a timeout on the field. After the timeout, Blue Devils first and goal from the four-yard line of the Wildcats. And time is running out at the end of this first half. There was a two-minute warning not too long ago with this running time and no access to a clock. We're not sure how much time is left. It's only been five years. It'll be a little while before we get a clock up here. Osberg in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Hand off to Davis, who fumbles it, picks it up. Looks for some room to his yeah, right. right. Stays on his feet. <laughs> wow. Cuts it back in yeah, for the right. touchdown. Wow. Have a day. Have a day. It was another Davis. impressive Hat play trick. by Davis. Hat trick for Davis. You know what? Number 11 grabbed him. Davis said, who are you? I'm scoring. Well, there you saw everything that makes Davis the player that he is. Yeah. Kept you know, his composure. Picked up the ball. Looked to his right. Cut it back up the middle. You know what? Tacklers what? bouncing off of him. Shoulder pads, number, knees, all pointing toward the goal line. That's impressive. Yeah, Touchdown, line, Davis. Two point conversion. Two point Scored conversion try for the Blue up. Devils. On top. 
Osper takes the snap, fakes the snap, fakes the handoff to Davis. That's the channel. The room, channel. Looking for some room on his right. Up, and no good. From After the unsuccessful conversion try, that makes it point conversion is no 22 good. So to here. nothing. <laughs> After the unsuccessful conversion attempt by the Blue Devils, the Springfield Wildcats will take over on their own 35-yard line. Once again, we're not kicking off in this game. Quarterback for the Wildcats, make sure everybody's set. Running back reminding the tackle of something important. Quarterback takes the snap. There's a flag on the play Whistle right blue, which is probably a good thing for the Wildcats the because you know who. Mr. Davis was in the backfield. Yeah, he was in a hurting mood on that play. You could just see it. That was a merciful whistle. That's an illegal motion on the part of the Wildcats. That'll push him back five yards. We're late in the first half here, folks. We don't know how much time we have left exactly. Coming up at the half, folks. Wildcats are set. Quarterback takes the snap, uh -oh. takes the handoff, uh -oh. gets a pass off despite Davis's efforts to get to the quarterback. Pass is caught midfield. Brought down at the line of scrimmage, so that's no gain. And on that tackle. Now I'm going to encourage Coach Levitz to take Elijah out of the game. I have a feeling he's going to he's going to inflict some some pain here at the end of this half. Well, I think you're you're right in your observation, Rob. That in the second half we're going to see a a lot of shuffling of personnel. <laughs> Yeah, brings up second down and 15. And is that the half? And there we go. At halftime, Blue Devils 22, Wildcats nothing. Getting ready to start the second half here. Blue Devils up 22 to nothing over the Springfield Wildcats. Wildcats are going to start the second half with the ball on their 35-yard line. In this game, we're not seeing any special teams play, so there are no kickoffs. But what we are seeing is a dominating performance on the Blue Devils. Though the score was 22 nothing, that really doesn't tell the story. I mean, that first half was all Blue Devils. It could have been 35 to nothing. It's not, it's 22 nothing is not that close, is what you're saying. Not in this game. Quarterback takes the snap, pitch to the right, finds his way through oh. the hole. Oh, nice run. Met there by Elijah Davis, but the runner carries him for another three or Brought four yards, and that's a first down. That's a nice run. Sure was. That was a good, great, great run on the part of the, the uh, Wildcats. That that. It's been one of the best plays they've run all night. And you know what I liked about that play is it was pretty simple and straightforward. You know, you know we've been saying it all night long. Our, our uh, commentary as it relates to this whole wild card program is they, I think they, they think they make it a little bit too complicated. I yeah. think they're, they're running stuff that's beyond their players' ability to execute with precision, and it's getting them in trouble. The players are taking too long to develop, and the Blue Devils are just feasting on it. So first and 10 from the 45-yard line. Wildcat quarterback calls the signals. Takes the snap. There's a handoff that Fumble. the running back drops. Ball is still on the ground. I think he finally managed to pick it up. Blue Devils say they have it, but I've seen no call. Oh, there you go. It's a Blue Devil football. I didn't see who recovered that, Rob. Did you? No, I did not. I did not see who recovered that. I, I saw the ball bouncing around. I saw the uh, Wildcat reaching for it and. The pile happened, and then I lost it. That's unfortunate. Not well, only not only can I see what's happening down there, but given how dark it is in the booth, I'm having a hard time reading my player numbers. I'm trying to find light. Here we go. Now I can see some of that. The running back on that play, he just simply so lost the handle. He never really point had point. the handoff from the running back from the quarterback. And the resulting fumble, the Blue Devils recovered, so they'll take over on the 44-yard line. Osper in a quarterback still. He's up under center this time. Spent much of the first half in the shotgun formation. Send Davis in motion. Osper takes the snap. Has a hand off the channel. Look for the room on the right hand side. Channel gains about two yards. And uh, number 10, Hank Higgins reporting into the game for channel. He's bringing the play into the game. You know, we haven't seen number uh, 22, Joey Brosna, yet tonight. I'm sure when he gets into the game, he's going to be a uh, dominant running force as well. And Jared Fowler's also standing there by Coach Channel. I'm sure we're going to start to see uh, this whole group of talented Northampton running backs working themselves into the game today. This is the type of game where the players are going to sidle up next to the coach just to and there's Higgins. they're ready to go Look in. at him finish that run. What a great job by Higgins. And Higgins takes the handoff, runs up the middle, gain about Higgins. six yards. And I'm glad the referees called that because that was a little bit of a cheap play there by the Wildcats, slamming Higgins to the ground after he had already been tackled. 
They're going to call a personal foul on that. You don't want to see that. I know the game is uh, kind of one-sided at this moment, but we still want to keep the players safe. You know, we've been able to see uh, Henry Higgins in a Blue Devil well, uniform now for six or seven years, all the way up through the Peewees. And since he's been a little guy, there's a guy who knows how to finish a run. He's a determined football player. It's just a treat to watch play, and he's going to be a dominant force here next year. Hank's got one more year left in the program. That brings up a first and 10 for the Blue Devils on the 22-yard line. Osper takes the snap, hands off to Davis, and that's one of the few, if only, negative plays for Davis tonight. Immediately. Yeah, there was some. Uh, was a breakdown, obviously, on the offensive line there. Good, good. You know, nice, nice, nice play on the part of the the, the Wildcat defense. That's going to bring up a second and fifteen. Trying to fight. I didn't see where the breakdown was. Again, we don't have the benefit of instant replay. For those of you watching on we a DVD, no we have no clock. We have no uh, instant replay. Yeah, but we but we we have determination. We got heart. We have heart. Osberg in the shotgun. Second and 15 here now. We've also got way sends, too many pounds between us. Sends Higgins in motion. Fades back to pass. Now he has to cut back the, to the left. Oh, he's going to take now it. Now he's going to keep it himself. He's got Greg Oshevitz out in front of him. He runs out of bounds. He wisely runs out of bounds after a gain of 10 yards. QB. Took that end around. That was a nice heads-up play. It was a broken play, and he didn't try to do too much. You know, uh, uh, Ian took a couple of tough hits last week and uh, spent a lot, a lot of the week moaning and groaning a little bit with, uh, with a bruise on his rib. And I think when he saw that tackler coming up, it's 22 nothing. He did an he, he did a Manning on that play. Ran, that's, that's ran, ran, for the the side, ran for the sidelines. There's nothing wrong with that. It was a Peyton Manning on that play. Third and seven. Osberg in the shotgun again. Takes a snap, hand off to Davis, looking for the room on the right. There's a he's hole. got it. He cuts through. And he's <laughs> almost made it through. That's the first down. That is the first down, right? Yep, first down. Yeah. You know what? That's a special player right there, number 21, Elijah Davis, for uh, fans of Northampton football. It is going to be quite impressive to see him pro see as he progresses. I mean, he's just got all the tools. Sky's the limit for that kid. And he was a shoestring away from scoring yet again. First and goal. Yeah, from the up now. Nine yard line. Osberg takes the That's hand off the Brazna. He's got room on and the we left. talked about it. He's gonna make it to the pylon and he's in for the score. You know, we haven't we haven't called out his name all day, but when we do, Brazna scores a touchdown. Joe Brazino, a nice That makes it twenty-eight to nothing. And the Blue Devils will line up for the two-point conversion. And the and the young ladies here. Particularly pleased with that run. I think these Blue Devils have got themselves a fan club down there. Brosna, Joe Brosna. Thank you. Joe Brosna on the run. Blue Devils break the huddle to line up for the two point conversion try. Osberg is in the shotgun. Burnish to his left. Takes a snap, hand off to Davis. Looks for some room on the left. And Met by a there. big old and lineman still on his feet. And a, whistle of death. a valiant effort, but he's going to be about a yard short. A mess in the middle. I don't think that two points is going to be good. So that'll make it 28 nothing, Blue Devils. Well, he has another six on him already. Decent game tonight. Two points, no good. So Hamp it. Just around the end of the third here. Looking at 28 0 now. Six point score by Joe Brazna. And I, I know there is a, there's a maximum differential here that's enforced in this league. I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, ins insiders suggest it might be as many as 44 points, but we're not sure. But there's at this particular point, if I were Coach Levins, it would be all about ball control. Wildcats will take over on their own 35. Let's see if they can get something going here, Rob. I'm not hopeful, but we'll see. Last minute personnel changes for the Blue Devils. And uh, Ryan, Bra Ryan Braden gets in there to get in that right end position, or outside linebacker. Whatever, takes a snap. Hand off to the deep back in the eye, runs into his own play. And, that's, that's, and then he's brought down. Was that Braden who brought Yeah, that was Braden. And also, uh, number, number three, three on that play. That was, uh, that was uh, Cyrus, Cyrus Carey. Carey. Yeah, yeah nice play by, by Carey. Well done, Cyrus. Braden. That play had a chance, but the running back ran into his own tackle. 
Yeah, reporting into the game. You know, also reporting into the game is number four, Javante Grant. If I recall, Javante is a seventh grader on this team. That was number 24, Javante Grant, reporting into the game. The second in line now, Springfield. Second, uh, let's call it ten and a half. Quarterback calls the signals. Takes the snap. Looking to throw. Quick throw out to the flat. Got a, got a receiver. Side. Makes the first, the first guy miss. Tackle. Makes the second, the second guy second miss. Oh, that was Grant on the play, yeah. By Javante Grant. Brought down for gain about four on that play. Those are the play types of quick plays that I think the Wildcats need to get something going here. Boy, Kesson had that lined up for the interception, and I thought he might get a pick six on that play. Quarterback did a nice job of throwing that ball quickly. The receiver was there to get it. Danced a little bit to gain a couple of yards. Makes a third and four on the 41-yard line. So that's about, what is that, third, did you say third and four? Third and four. Third and four. Third and four. Quarterback takes a snap. There's the handoff. Running back has a hole, gets into the defensive backfield. Oh, he's, he's got go some on. room. One guy to beat Levins. to get to the end zone. Levins is going to try to bring him down. There he does, drags him out of bounds at the 12-yard line. What a great run by number two for Springfield Wildcats. That was great pursuit by Jared Levins. Five-year game. I think Jared Levins doesn't want to Levins give up the shutout. The afterburners that got him right down there by the 10-yard line. Tell you what, Jared Levins is, I think, the fastest player in this team, and he showed it on that particular play. Springfield threatening to score tonight. And they could hear him exhorting his teammates, come on, let's get it going here. Even though they're up 28 nothing, his fire is still burning bright. You know what? There's a certain pride in these shutouts, and I think Hamp wants Hamp wants one. But I'll tell you what. These Springfield Wildcats aren't going to give up. That brings up first down on the Northampton 13-yard line. First down, Springfield. This is the furthest into Blue Devil territory that the Hamp Wildcats defense, have been all well night tonight. To here now, keep the game. Quarterback is rearranging his offensive lineman. Now he's up under center. Takes a snap. There's the fake handoff. He's going to keep it himself. Looking and there's for a some hold. room. There's a hold. There is a big hole. And there's a fumble. And he fumbled the ball, and but he fell on top of it himself. Down the backfield. And that Flag was the play. Jared Fowler with the pursuit to bring him down. And also in on that play was Tim Burnish. But so it was clearly a hold, and that's going to push him back. Was, was that a hold or a tackle? Lose, uh, chili and mac and cheese on sale, two dollars. Chili and the mac and cheese is on sale, two dollars. That's, that's uh, unfortunate for the Wildcats. They had something going there, and then the hole was going to push him back 10 yards. Yeah, and it wasn't really necessary either. I don't think it contributed anything to the play. Backs up a quick five yards. So that's second down, and looks like 18, holding a, a spot foul. So brought is working back 10 yards from the folks. spot. Quarterback up under center. Takes the snap. There's the pitch. Looking to run left. And looking to stop him is Elijah Davis. Out by number three. Side carry. Northampton. Taken out by number three and number 21. Looks like Elijah Davis and uh, Cyrus Carey in the tackle. Elijah Davis and Cyrus Carey in the tackle there. And after that play, Rob, I think Davis is going to get some rest. Yeah, it could be he's it. He's been working pretty hard out yeah, there. Yeah, uh, Elijah could be done for the day. Well, you know what? If he's not done for the day, he should be because he's done more than a day's worth of work. No sense ris risking an injury at this point. Third and 16, let's call it. Wildcats are on the 17-yard line. There's the snap. Quarterback. Takes the handoff, looking to pass. Oh, nice throw. The end zone. What a great throw. throw. And caught, Reception and he's in for the touchdown. touchdown. What a fantastic throw right great there. The that was a good throw. That was a good play. So that makes the score 28 to 6. 16 yard touchdown reception for Springfield on that. Puts them on the board. It was a nice throw. It was just take the shot out over out. the outstretched hands. Top 28, Springfield 6. And I think I saw the official signal that we're beginning of the fourth quarter right now. All right, the Wildcats are going to line up for the two-point conversion here. We'll see what they have in store for us.
Breakfield lines up with two point conversion. Quarterback up under center. Calls the signals. Keeps himself up the middle and he's in for the score. Hey, nice play. That was a nice play. That's 28 to 8, right? 28 to 8. Putting 8 on the board. Mrs. P's home. After the score, it's 28 to 8. Blue Devils over the Springfield nice Wildcats. Green. And this is the start Copy. of the fourth quarter. Lots Blue of Devils will water. take over on their own 35 yard line. Down the raffle, NYFL merchandise. Stop by and support it's your teams. We are in the uh, beginning of the fourth Number quarter here. We have switched ends, ends, and Camp will go with a wind at their back. Osberg in the shotgun. Sends oh. Kesson in motion. Oh, there's, there's, and the then there is some motion. illegal motion happening. That's going to send the Blue Devils back five yards. As we start the fourth quarter with a 20 point lead, we're going to see some personnel on the field that aren't necessarily used to play. And that can sometimes lead to things like illegal motion calls. Yeah. First and 15 for the Blue Devils as they approach the line of scrimmage. So Osberg has a, a quick and huddle. Back under center. Back under center, takes a snap. There's a handoff to Higgins. Higgins. Got some room on the right-hand side. There's a hole. He He's gets back the penalty yardage and a couple more yards. Gain of about seven yards. That'll bring up second and seven. I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of Higgins. we're going to see a lot of those plays. That was Henry Higgins on here the in the fourth quarter, Rob. Number thirty. So Henry. runs through the tackle. Just give it to your sure-handed running back. Number ten, Henry Higgins. So they don't drop the ball. Uh, do we have a timeout here? And there is a timeout on the field. After the timeout, Blue Devils second and eight on their own 38-yard line. We're in the fourth quarter here at Tugin Field. It's been a lovely day. It's turned into a lovely evening. Osberg takes the snap. There's the handoff Kesson. to Kesson. Kesson room in the left. Cuts it back up to the middle. Still on his feet. Number 34 on the run from Gets the, the first down. Nice, nice effort by Kesson. Nice effort by Kesson. Yeah, for Kesson. He had the vision there. He had some room on the right. And when that was closed off, actually his left, when that was closed off, he cut first it back down, up the middle Hampton, and got the Kesson first down. The and that's what you want to see in the fourth quarter. You want to see the chains moving. You want to keep possession, keep the clock going, keep the chains moving. First down at the 45 and a quarter yard line. Osberg takes the snap. There's a hand channel. off to Channel. Finds the hole on the right hand side. Up the middle for a gain of about four and a half. Again, that's just what you want to see. We like that. And, re yeah, and reporting into the game are uh, new backfield for the Blue Devils. And they include number six, Jose Ortiz. I also see coming to the game number 16, Josh Rivera. So number 16, Rivera, number six, Ortiz into the game for the Blue Devils. Second and six from the, on the 50 yard line. Osper takes a snap, there's a hand Higgins. up to Higgins. Got some room on the right, he's got the first the down and more. 10. Breaks he's it back to the left, spun around and brought down, down at the well, 36 right yard the line. That's the a 16 yard gain and a nice run. Henry Higgins, number 10. You know, Rob, we've seen a lot of variety from this Blue Devil offense. They did yeah. the Razzle. Some nice pass plays, and now they're just lining up and grinding it out. Yeah, another another nice run by Higgins. I think his uh, average yard per carry tonight is about nine. I think he's carried four times for at least 36 yards. Nice job by Higgins. Good job by that Blue Devil offensive line as well on that play. Osper takes a snap. Ooh, that's Brosna for nothing. First down right Hampton. up the middle, and the that's going to be stopped scrimmage. for maybe. We'll give him a gain of a half yard. Number 22 on the run Keep from the Hampton, Joe Brosna. Joe Brosna. With the carry, brings up second down and nine and a half. As players continue yeah, to shuffle one. in and out, Kyle yeah. McGrath going in. Yeah, and Christopher Rosenfeld comes in the game number one. I believe that's Kyle, Kyle McGrath. McGrath. I'm one. sorry, you're right. Rosenfeld's number zero. That's Kyle McGrath. McGrath. Julius 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 number 13 in the game as well, playing left end. Osberg takes the snap, hand off the channel, look for his left. Hold there for a moment, nine, then it's closed quickly, there, but he's still pushing the pile forward. We'll Call that a gain of three yards. Wildcat. You know what? That was a nice run by Channel. That uh, the offensive line just uh, didn't have their best series on that particular play. Channel did a nice job. Third and seven now for Northampton. Third and seven. They have 
a little nice little drive going. They're moving the ball down the field. Get back that touchdown now at the Wildcat 33-yard line. This is the kind of drive you like to see there, just chewing up the clock on this drive. Third down here. Osberg is up under center. Takes the snap. There's the handoff. Ah, some room up the middle. Got some room. That was side carry. Picked up. The ball came loose, but they're saying he was down. Ball was whistled dead, though. It's a nice run by Cyrus Carey there. He showed some hops on that run, didn't he? And it started with some great line play to open up that hole at the middle for him. You know, the depth that this team has, the talent that this team has at uh, the line position is just impressive. That was a real nice run by Carey, wasn't it? For Northampton, Cy Carey, Cyrus Carey. So I saw Eamon Powers, number two, checking into the game. First and 10 from the 15 yard line. Osberg. Half up lines up, center. first down now. Takes the snap. There's a hand off the channel. Got, got some, some room on the right outside. Room on the outside. One guy who He's drags him down Pickle. after a three yard gain. Looked for a second like Channel Matt had the, carry. the end yeah, zone. Yeah, but number that 11. Defender. Yeah, number 11 showed some good speed. And, you know, Matt's, uh, Matt's got some good speed himself, and unfortunately, it wasn't enough to get past number 11. Makes it second down and eight at the 14 yard line of the Wildcats. Osberg up on the Hand lines up now, second down. Takes the snap. There's a pitch to Kesson. Looks for some room on his left. Gets through the hole, and then he's brought down at the 15 yard line. Hampton, Jasper Kesson. He had room there for a second, but he was tracked down from behind. And, and he was picked up and turned around and brought down to the down. turf. Unfortunately, that was a big boy who chased him down. Had a clean hit on, on, on Kesson. And there's a timeout on the field. He's got a third and nine situation now. Third and nine for the Blue Devils after the timeout. Looking to threaten the score again here. I'd like to see the Blue Devils just keep it on the ground, see if he can... Make get this first down in two solid plays. There's, they're Osborne gonna have a chance. The snap. There's the pitch to Higgins, looking for some room on the right. Higgins cuts through the middle, but cuts, cuts it down back and is Wildcats. brought down by no three large Wildcats, including big number 71. And unfortunately, that's not good for his yards per carry average, but it was good for running the clock. And is that a that would have been a fourth down play there, was it? Out on the field. I think that's a timeout on the field. After that play, it's now fourth and 12 for the Blue Devils. They're around the 15-yard line, line so they're going to go for it, of course. Osberg takes the snap, rolls to his left, looking to throw. throw. Ball up in the air. He's got a man open. 33 is in the end zone. It's Tipped an incomplete at the last pass. second by the Wildcat defender. Ten receiver was number 33. That was intended, Jared Levin's great coverage intended on the play. for Jared Levins. Good you know, throw. Uh, he had, you know, he had him. He had him there. I think that ball hung up there a little bit hung too up long. A little bit. Yep. yep. Gave the defender a chance to get there. The and recovery. Yep. The last yep. Yeah. It needed a little less air and a little more line on that. He can. He didn't uh, shift his weight through that pass effectively. Ball hung up there a little bit. I think Osberg knows it wasn't his best throw, and that's fine. Blue, De uh, Blue Devils have had a great game tonight. Wildcats take over first and ten. And that's that's exactly the, that. Drive didn't end in a score, but it did everything else that you wanted to do. It took a lot of time off the clock. So it's going to be Ends up in the Wildcats deep now. in their end. It's late in the fourth quarter. They're up by 20. Things are looking pretty good. Wildcats will take over on their own 18-yard line. And they have a lot of work to do if they want to get themselves back into this game. Looks like they're set. Quarterback is up under center. Takes the snap, and he's going to sneak it up the middle. Got some room into the secondary. Makes one guy miss, two guys number miss. Hands it on the uh, sidelines. Finally brought down at the I think Channel finished it off. Yeah, Channel knocked him off. Yeah, that was Channel doing his job at safety. That was a gain Being of about, a safety. Gain of about 17 there. That was a nifty little run. You know what it was? It was a quarterback sneak. Nothing complicated about that, right? And uh, nothing that takes too long to develop. He just took that ball, danced through the hole, got into the secondary, and kept on going. You know, they've got, you know, their linemen are big, but they're not real athletic. They're very athletic in the skill positions, and they just got to get the ball to those skill guys quick enough to be able to overcome the lack of athleticism on their line. And I'm sure they're also tired. 
late yeah. here in the fourth quarter. They don't have a lot of subs to rest them. First and 10, starting on the 35-yard line. They have two receivers here on the short end of the field, one receiver on the other side. Quarterback takes the snap, and the referees whistle the play dead. Illegal motion on the Wildcats. That's not going to help their cause, and it's not going to help our cause either, Rob, because it stops the clock. Yeah, it's going to bring up uh, first and 15 after that five-yard penalty. On the bright side, that'll give people more time to take advantage of our specials in the food booth. Yeah, and that's number 72, Bo Garbarini, reporting into the game. Bo's a terrific baseball player. He had a great season for the uh, Koufax League last year. Did a great job in left field and really, really has emerged as a terrific athlete. Number 72, Garbarini, reports into the game. First and 15. First and Trips formation to the left. Shotgun quarterback. Direct snap to the back. That's Gorman. And Gorman sniffs it out. Gets a hold of his jersey, but he gets away. Ooh, finally brought down. Is that Davis? Number 14. Side over there. Yep. That was Jared Fowler. I think that was number 21, Elijah Davis, with the final fling. Ethan Gorman. And that's uh, week number eight. Number eight, Jack Reed reporting into the game. Jack's reporting in his safety for Matt Channel. That makes it second and 20 from the 30-yard line. 29, 30-yard line. Now, this is the moment also in the game where we start guessing at how much time's left. I'm guessing around two minutes. Did you see the two-minute warning? No, I'm guessing. They probably be Pretty close. Say three receivers to the right here. Quarterback in the shotgun. Second and a long way to go. Snap. He's looking to throw. Stays in the pocket. Might think better of that next time. Now he's flush from the pocket. Oh. Levens. Oh, by number Who has yeah. the ball? Sniffs him out. Tackles him and comes up with the ball. I, I, you know what? Down. I, 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 I think. Um, you know, I'm not disappointed that the Wildcats retain the ball, but I think if we had instant replay, we might find that Levins not only tackled him, but stripped him before it was, it he hit was the a ground. very athletic play. Sure was. With one arm, he's tackling him. With the other arm, he's lifting the ball up over You his know, head. and he does have long arms. Stork-like arms. He does. Tonight, folks, holding them for a loss most of these plays. They're going to push back. Third and 15 now for well, the Wildcats. Well, game on both Wildcats. ends of it here. Score does not reflect the tenor of the game. Wildcats are getting themselves set here. Quarterback calls the signals. Takes the snap, look at the pass. There's a quick out. That ball was up in the air a long time. It's a big block on Kesson. Braden, nice play. Braden does a great Hampton. job of bringing him down. Ryan Braden right in there on top of that. 88 was a receiver, completed pass. Had no chance, so Braden was right in there in the play. It's good to see Ryan have such a such a great game that he caught a two-point conversion, made a couple of nice tackles, a couple of nice blocks. Last week, Ryan didn't have his best game, and he's really come back with a vengeance this week. Nice nice game by Braden, nice tackle there. It's Having a good all-around game. Well, give some credit to Kesson out there. He got popped on that one. He's, he's a plucky player. Back out there, ready to do his job. Fourth down and uh, forever. 22. Forever. Wildcats are going to go for it. Quarterback takes a snap. He's looking to pass, and he is met by Davis. The one is caught and at all. Who else was there to help out? Elijah there? Gorman. Number seven, Gorman. Seven. And Berenson. Northampton. 21, Elijah Davis. So that's turnover on downs. Berenson on the sack. And I believe that's the last that's play of the game. The ball game. Blue Devils in a dominating performance beat the Springfield Wildcats 28 to 8. Thank you, Rob. It's been a good day. Hey, great day for Blue Devils football. We'll see everyone that next time. The end of our game.